Alrighty, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Muppet. We are back into Fortress Craft and yes, we are going to have to tear this thing down unfortunately because I need another trencher setup and I need 150 of each bar for it and I've got 122 chromium. So that means that yeah, we need to shut this thing off and we need to move it down to chromium and get some of that to in order to build another one. And once that's done, so I can grab all of this and then I'll shove the extra bits in it. Uh, seems to store all the extra bits in the motor as I was hoping it would do, which is good. So let's hope I have enough room to pick all this stuff up. I do, I got enough for the drills anyway. Don't know why they're not picking up. Uh, time to dump some stuff. Ah. So, hard rock grinder, don't you need you, gold wire, don't need you, here we go, it's all picked up. So we need to destroy the motor, of course. <coughs> yeah, it's interesting, if you've got like 10 of something, and that, picking up 10 of that fills up your inventory, does your game say, oh, well, your inventory is full, so now you can't pick any, anything else? Even if it's the, oh, we accidentally destroyed that chest, didn't we? Add and remove. So you need to be filtered. Excellent. And you can just go ahead and screw yourself. So let's let's take a lift up to whatever the hell it is, chromium. And let's get some of that stuff going. And we just need a little bit. So let's have a look. So 122 out of 145 out of 150, so that's 28. Why are you not going as fast as you should be? And why am I so low? I don't know if this is due to the jetpack or something, but... Whoa, there's, there's the cave. Alrighty. So yeah. Resin. Resin's still going good. I guess I just logged in, so there's a whole bunch more that needs to be done. Stupid, inactive hive mind not giving me infinite resin, although it really kind of is, sort of deal. Okay. Did we find a wall for this guy? I guess we kind of did. Yeah. So we kind of had a battery, although it was a better battery. And then we had a drill here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like that it has a nice sound while it's charging up. It sounds like something much heavier is actually charging up, but I like that it has a nice sound. You know, it's just a nice sound. Damn it. One, two, three, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So now we go back to F4. And this can probably just stay there. I don't think we need to worry about that guy. So wh what did we say we needed? Out of power. Okay. I guess the, uh, I guess the battery needs to be under that guy, not under this guy. Give me the battery back, thank you. There we go. So now you got power. So what did we say? 122. So that's 28 by 8, which is some huge number that I'm pretty sure is still less than 800. Because 800 ore will give us 100 bars. And since we're actually casting a video right now, I feel like we should not wait around and get a whole ton of this stuff like I normally would. We should go over, we should get some, and then we should get some. Yep, come on buddy, come on. Learn to store, okay? You are finished. You should, you say out of storage, but there are three chests right here, and I assure you, oh, shit on a brick. Okay, all right, stupid Harry Muppet forgot. Stupid filter thing. Give me all of the stuff, please. Just give it to me, give it to all of me. Not half of me, not a quarter of me, all of me. Damn, this thing's taking forever. Let's just let it go. Now it's full. Now are you finally full? Looks like you're finally full, okay. Uh, where's my thing? So you can be... Where's my thingo? 
I can't see it because I can't remember what color it should be. I know this is the, there it is, 801. So, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, oh, let's put some more in there. I don't know how I did that. I'm supposed to do 801 and somehow I've got 1.2k, so. That's very, very interesting. It should be multiples of 800, I would have thought. But anyway, we're three seconds away from another hole, so let's do it. Go on, go on, where's my 800? Where's my 800? Okay, I've done the filter. It's chromium ore, you should not have a problem. Ore stored, zero. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. I feel like there might be a problem here. Okay, let's wait for the next one. So, five, four, three, two, one, zero, 800. Okay, that time it worked. So, there we go. I don't know where that extra 400 came from or why that second cycle did nothing, but it's all, it's all very interesting and maybe I don't care. I mean, long term, we just needed to collect and when we've got it to be 100% perfect, like 100% thingamabob, like the plasma head deal, then it will be fine. And I've had a look and the research for level two drills is 512 of each bar and then some other containers. But the research level for level three is the same amount. So 512 bars and so on and so forth. So we should be able to go straight from um, number two to number three, hopefully, and just skip having to build number twos. Yeah, I'm hoping anyway, because our big problem is going to be, how far away are they? 264, they were a lot closer than that. This guy over here was a lot closer than that. You must have scared him off, I guess. So let's take out all of that and then put in all of this. Eh, eh, shift X, eh. Oh wait, there's chromium ore was down here. Whoops, okay. Well, you can go and smelt. There we go. How much did we say we needed? 122. So we needed 28 more. Let's go have a whoop. Have, go have a look over here. See how these are, guys are going. At some point, we might get some molybdenum and chromium and stuff and start putting them into lenses. Get a basic defensive um, perimeter. But I don't know. I mean, I just do not know. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a big problem. I mean, I swear to God, it was closer before. And then it sort of chickened out and ran away, but... Was it... I think it says something like 384? Well, look at all these lifts here. Oh, that's a lot of crystal. There's, I've got a lift here. I wonder what this one is. Uh, this one, gold. I reckon this one must be gold. And this one is... Oh. Neither of these are nickel. Or maybe... No, maybe this is nickel and this one's titanium, because they are a decent distance away. So yeah, okay, so that's nickel and titanium. Whoosh, quite a distance away. So, unfortunately this smelting is still slow. Um, still, well it's, it's faster than the other sort of smelting, but it's still nine. So we only got nine bars out of that. So yeah, this guy is frequently out of power. So that's going to be a problem. So we're going to have to seriously, seriously pump a lot of power down here or figure out what geothermals are like and how we do those and whether they can just generate power out of thin air or whether we actually need to do stuff with the geothermals. Uh, let's go up a little bit and check out geothermals because I believe if I, I've unlocked them, I'm pretty sure I can have the ability to build them. I just haven't built them because they need all of the new bars and shit like that so power 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 geothermal component yes it is these crazy machine blocks geothermal power place in a cold area and feed with heat conductant pipes okay that's bad because if we need to feed it with pipes then that means that something needs to be feeding it uh, which is not good. I don't know what needs to be feeding it, unfortunately. So if we have a look, geothermal. 
10 times the power of a jet turbine. Well, that certainly sounds good. Cold caverns and fed heat conducting pipes. Uh, generating energy. For each pipe placed below the cold cavern level, the power generated per second will increase. Okay. Oh, I can see there. Okay, so what we do is we put a geothermal in the cold caverns. And then we attach some heat conducting pipes to it, and we feed the pipes down towards the core. I think every pipe placed below the cold cavern level, the power generated per second will increase. Okay, so this means, yeah, so we put that in, and then we start putting some pipes downwards um, towards the ground. Uh, well, towards the magma caverns, I guess, and then it should start producing a whole bunch of power. So the heat pipes are a bit of a pain in the ass, but we can make those. I can't remember how they're made though. They we had some special machine for heat conducting pipes. I think we had that over here. Uh, yeah, we needed all of this crazy sort of crap, and uh, yeah, this was the heat pipe, and it needed needed stuff. Thank you for your progression. It's actually saying 4 million. I don't know if I got 4 million power generated in the last 5 minutes, so maybe progression isn't being reset? I don't know. I still feel like it is for some things, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just annoying, and it's just so annoying that I'm assuming. And maybe I'm just overestimating how good I am at this game and not reading numbers correctly. And it's like, oh, I should have finished that achievement by now, but it's actually like 20 billion or something like that and it's just like maybe I really only have done a million smelts in the entire time that I've been playing but it just feels weird what is your problem storage empty what is your problem you only got five chromium did I really not put enough chromium in there yeah I think I ended up only putting a hundred in there or something there you go there's a lot more so 130 shit so that's 16 that has to happen here. Uh, you know what? This is desperate times. So we're going to turn all these guys around. You. Yeah, we go. And we're going to be fully powering this guy as much as we can. Our still out of power. This guy has serious power issues. Desire is 2,500. We could feed another laser over there, maybe. Frida! You can go and kiss my ass, buddy, okay? The glass is there, you cannot get close to it, so I don't know why you're even trying. Um, yeah. So what we do here is three. Uh, lens. That goes over right over there, and then we do this lens. There we go. Hopefully, that guy will be fine now. Jeez. You can see the timer there. So it takes three seconds, but it needs th consistent power. So it probably needs about a lot of little jerks of power to keep going. What's your problem? You're doing about 600. I'm assuming this guy is doing pretty much full. So we've got about 1,200, 1,500 per second, something like that. We should have 2,000 per second, actually. These guys really should be going full blast. And this is number uh, sort of going up, I don't know. But maybe the going into three. And where is this? This guy's pulling off this battery. This guy's pulling off this battery. So they should really have 2,000 coming in, really. But it's just not happening that way. All right, well, we got 15, so that's fine. One more, please. One more, thank you very much. We'll get rid of this because otherwise we'll get stupid little insects knocking the crap out of it. Uh, of course I don't have any of that. Two, three. Picky uppy. There we go. 
you can fall down because I don't care about you, but I do care about the others. And then line those up again. All right, let's go back to the surface. Let's build our drill. And then, then we will start to think about actual smelting operations that actually will be properly done as opposed to the uh, just massive carting things around that we're currently doing. Okay, so we can't waste any components here. So, if we waste components, we have to go down and get more. It's just the only way it's gonna happen. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. So, let's go down to molybdenum and let's chuck that setup back in there. Well, where am I? Okay. I don't know where I am. Oh, did I go all the way down to the bottom? Sweet. Okay. I guess I hit the fourth one instead of the third one. I always hit the third one, but this time apparently I hit the fourth one. Okay. Well, that gives us a bit of a shorter journey. Oh, wait a sec. I mapped out a perfect, perfect walkway here. Just never use it. All right. Drill. Drill me some stuff. At least these guys don't need a stupid amount of... Uh, I always do this. Always. At least they don't need a stupid amount of power. They just need a regularly little bit nuts, but still doable amount of power. Actually, I don't know how much power they need to keep going. I'm sure the Mark III one will need a crap ton of power, but hopefully by then we'll have figured out geothermal. God, why do I always do this to myself? Oh, I can just mark the ground, can't I? There we go. Uh, battery is still there. So, done. And these are still on molybdenum. How's my inventory looking? Can I pick up this crap? Yeah, I might as well. So there we go, good stuff, good stuff, uh, let's make sure that this one does a good haul and grab it all and then, yes, then we will go up and we'll just start slowly expanding our smelting thing and I think we'll start with, uh, with chromium because we've already got a hole for that. Granted the hole does go all the way up to the surface which is kind of a waste because we're not going to need the hole to go all the way up to the surface. We're just gonna need it to go up to cold caverns, but we've still got a hole and that's still useful, so yeah. Okay, geez, running a bit low on power. That's all right. Wee, wee. Up oh, there we go. So, there we go. There's a whole bunch of chromium. That is good. That makes me very happy to see all that. Done. Okay. And you're still getting full amount? Excellent. So, yeah, the plan is going to be ship this stuff up the hole, wherever the hole is. It's up there somewhere. We've got it right in the middle over there. So we're going to need a lift here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if we need a big lift, but the really big lifts need the normal size lifts to actually get them. So I don't feel like it's too much of a pain. Um, but yeah, building the lifts is something that we can do, definitely. I feel like what I want to do is I want to have those uh, that smelting setup that I've got in the cold caverns kind of going just ad hoc for as long as it can to get as much molybdenum and uh, chromium smelted as it can. And yeah just let it go nuts and let it go nuts on the power that it's got um yes it is slow but you know that's life sometimes sometimes life is just slow and when we this we're not gonna increase the power for here because so let's have a look chromium uh so we're gonna put chromium storage full Chromium there, molybdenum, molybdenum, okay. Pick up that, 31 chromium bars, excellent. And yes, what we're gonna do is when we go over there, we're gonna have four blasting furnaces and a continuous casting basin hooked in in all four dimensions and 175 meters. And yes, we're gonna have that set up for chromium and for molybdenum, so they're not gonna share, they're gonna have their own setup each. And 
We might even be able to just leave this set up here and expand it for molar denim because you think about where molar denim is, it's, well it's actually it's over there. I'm getting my corners confused. I thought it was right under me, but it's right over there. So we might move it a tiny bit, but anyway, that's that's the sort of deal. So let's not worry about the shaft for molar denim yet. Let's just worry about chromium, worrying about getting that lift shaft done. So let's go and get all of the particulars that we're going to need. Uh, double check this for a sec. Stupid things. Hate those stupid things. Ah, what's your problem? No, no problems. Still nickel down to 763, but since we found that 5.6, I'm not even remotely worried about this. So this is interesting. Basic quarry. So basically shoots down and just gets all the resources. I don't know if this gets all of the ore. Like if you go through 2 million ore, it would give you 2 million ore. I doubt it. But who knows? Maybe it would. Maybe that's why the quarry is so good. Uh, thing speed doesn't say. Doesn't say. Or extraction efficiency, ten percent. Yeah. Okay. So that's not bad. Um. I wonder if there's a better quarry you can get. There very well might be, but. Not gonna worry about it for a moment. 10% is not bad when you consider that. It's just shooting down and getting everything. You could put those all over the place and just get so much, so much. But of course, 10% is still way less than 100%. So yeah, you do want the, the lift still. So. Oh, this is gonna be interesting because we want a cargo lift controller. And we want to, uh, we need to build it in the cold caverns, though. Okay. Need to get some inventory room free. Thank you very much. That got a whole bunch of stuff really quickly. Type. Boom. Damn it, I hate when a freaking things change. Uh, plants. Plants. Take all of my plants. I don't know how I keep picking up plants, because I'm really... Really trying not to even have some of this. No, we'll put that on the other chest, actually. Uh, it's all the plates, isn't it? Look at this. Titanium ore. One and two single bits of titanium ore just screwing up my inventory. There we go. Bye-bye, titanium ore. Grab some miscellaneous. 500 of that, 900 of that. Get rid of all that stuff. Have we still got... No, this is my rough hewn rock. This is the big pile that I had like 10,000 of. It's finally being chewed down. And soon it will all be gone. All be gone. That's alright. I totally do not mind. Okay. Where was it? The wire. Let's get rid of the wire. We don't need that. Maybe we should uh, do something over here with labs. Well, let's have a look at labs. Is there anything useful that we can actually research here? Advanced storage requires refined liquid resin. I feel like we can do this very easily. Do I have? I got two of these. Two of these. So let's get two of them in there. So now we need 23 and we also need refined liquid resin, which since I started going down there, uh, has not been a problem. Five. Five. Okay. And now you need 23 more intermediate, which is 46. Oh, actually, is it 46? I can't see any irons in there. Are there any irons in my inventory? There's a whole bunch of iron plate and a whole bunch of hardened PCBs. All right, screw that. You get taken away and you in there and then the plates so what was it 23 46 46 um, so that's uh, 92 so that's 138 and we just put 98 so we need 40 more okay 
put it in both sides so it goes across the top and the bottom to get through there. And there we go, done. So that should get advanced storage across the way. And we got rid of some crap in our inventory, which I'm very happy about. Yeah, that's a, look at that. We got a whole row completely empty. That's like absolutely awesome. Let's get rid of some other stuff as well. Because I had a setup here for the freaking, um, the freaking lens chroma, which turned out to be a total piece of crap. Just absolutely piece of crap. So, but let's put it down anyway. Let's put it down. I think it needed to be in like the caverns or it needed bars or something stupid like that. But anyway, let's put it down. We know where it is now and we don't have to worry about it being in our inventory. And I got two of those freaking things. This is probably fully backed up by now. Oh yeah, it looks fully backed up. 10, 10 there, so. Okay. What we do here is we do this guy. You can have two of these. There you go. Uh, so those will get pushed back into the fold. Whoa, I guess we're not backed up. What the hell are you still doing? Tin bars going across here. How are you? You're full. You need one of these. Still? I am missing something. Okay, so this should have filled up ages ago, but it's something to do with... The way I put this chest here is... It goes down and it always tries to fill up that chest first. And then once that chest is full, this line backs up, this guy, this chest gets full, and then it pushes all of those bars into there, makes some Mark 1 forced inductors, and then the Mark 1s trigger the Mark 2s to be built, and that chest starts emptying, and we all go around in circles over and over again. Um, although all of these chests appear to be full, so I don't see that cycle happening a lot anymore. This That may have been the last time, and this guy just may never be shot through again yeah because storage full storage full okay anyway two out of 15 ore extractors are offline really are you including the trenders or the trillers or whatever the freaking hell they're called i don't know what they're called advanced storage the research that we didn't really need bulk cargo lifts okay don't know when we're gonna need them but man i want them I have a feeling they're even crazier to build than the other ones. Although the other ones aren't crazy to build at all now, now that we've got the Mark V induction things on tap, pretty much. Alright, so 256. That's a lot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, whoa, I should have used some of these, shouldn't I? 1, 2, whoa, no. I put 8 too many in here. So that's 25. I had eight too many, so now I have to put in 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 512. 512. And then that's 1024 by times five plus 512 is 1536, which is a lot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then there's just 436. Two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, now the same for Mr. Lithium. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Lithium. So, 512. This is going to be a little bit janky. We might, actually, I might do lithium over here first. Oh, I forgot, do I have any plates? Uh, I do, but God knows I'm not gonna do the calculations on those because that'll just send me through the freaking roof. Well, that's a hundred, isn't it? So, hundred's easy. We can just take a hundred out. Although we haven't put lithium in yet, so that's easy, that's even easier. We've got seven there, don't care about those. 18 there, don't care about those. Um, so yeah, 
1536 now becomes 1436. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 36. And then what do we say here? It's like 512, I think the, uh, I think the thing was. Okay. Now 412. 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. Excellent. All right. So big, big things are coming. Big things. Don't know if we'll ever need them. Because, I mean, 2,000 is more than enough. Actually, I think I was watching Flexible Games when he mentioned this, but he mentioned something like, um, yeah, something like the uh, elevator capacity being doubled, like this is 300 and this is 1,000, but it's actually been doubled to 2,000 and, tw and also 20 meters per second. That's because we're on rapid resources uh, game setting. So if we put it on not rapid resources, these would be their default amounts. Which is, makes me glad that I'm on rapid resources. So, we need cargo lift controller. We need a nine by nine. Okay, we need a whole bunch of rack rails. If I remember correctly, uh, the chromium or whatever the freaking hell it's called is down around the eight, nine hundred mark, which is pretty damn low. Where is Look at this, my old rack railing system, 900, but this is about, so we got about seven, let's say about 600 to go total, because we're doing it from the cold caverns, so six, 700, but we're going to need the extras anyway, because we're going to shoot the, um, shoot the results up to the surface after we smelt them, so yeah, we'll say about a thousand, so we need about 2,000 in here, so... Let's get some 2,000 hoppers. Very excited about the new hoppers, the uh, the big guys, the 5,000 slot one types and the 1,000 slot normals. They should be very cracking, cool. Cracking, cracking. Okay, so bye bye, bye bye. Okay. So you are iron. And you are a lot of iron. Okay, and you are. I should have some rack rail on me somewhere. Pretty sure I've been carrying the damn things around. 349 of them. Yep, good. So. Alrighty. Well, crap, crap, crap. Remove only, add only. Okay. There we go. That'll do some rack rails for us. Let's go down into the cold caverns and figure out what we're doing here. So let's first of all figure out where the damn hole is. It's over here, isn't it? So, so approximately negative 71 and 48. Whoa, whoa, not good, not good, not good. So negative 71 and 48 sounds like the ticket. And oh my god, we finally got all of the trenches, the beautiful drills that can do anything, and they've still got offline warnings that we have to go and switch off. Not that I'm going to worry about that stuff. So, let me see. So you are like that, which means I need to go in this direction. Ah, oh, gotta love this sort of stuff. Oh, look at the crystal. Please do not tell me the crystal is going to be blocking me. Okay. 48. Whoa, shit. Almost fell down off the exact hole that I was trying to find. I hope the crystal sort of doesn't block this. But I have a feeling that it might. Okay. So, what we do here. Do we want an even, even ground level? I feel like we don't really care too much. What's the even ground level anyway? Negative 250 exactly? Jeez, that's nice. Uh, what do you got for me? 50 of each. Wow, that is a treat. That is a treat and a half. Okay. Negative 78. 
38, so we go in this direction. Is that a hole? I've lost my hole. I dug a hole and then I lost it. I've dug a hole and then I lost it. Freaking hell, where's this hole gone? Negative 72. Negative 70, there we go, there's my hole. There's my hole. So what we do is... I feel like... I feel like we're in a little bit of a hill at the moment. So what did we say? 250. So this is 250 where I am right now. So let's let's make that the surface. Chewing out a bit of our bit of our hole there. But that's fine. F12. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this is where we're gonna have the first setup. And I don't think we'll try and fit the cargo lift up the same hole. We might be able to actually. We might be able to do a cargo lift above there, set another platform. But I don't know. Bugger off, you little bastard. Okay, just go away. Now you think you can't see them, but you, you know, if you know what to look for, you can always see them. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Oh no, we're not gonna get, have to get rid of that line. So. Ah. So, cargo lift. It's been a while since we had to fit one of these up, but we're fitting one up now. Uh, I know I don't have a cargo lift anywhere, but let's just grab some stuff. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And since it is underground, uh, we cannot use solar power. Unless, unless we can use unless the solar panels work like this i doubt very much that would work i mean it's got a clear line of sight to the sun and it really really does straight up but it's like 246 meters so i guess that's that's fair enough otherwise you could just dig a straight hole up and then have unlimited solar energy well not unlimited but a decent amount so anyway so we gotta we gotta push stuff over i guess uh Let's put the big chest in here. Okay, and let's shoot some power over. So you are over here. So we want power nice and high so that the damn little rat people can't actually get a hold of it. Alright, so three. is F20 and F33 no not like that like this we don't need a lens not for this guy okay and then we're going to get you a battery F37 done get you a battery uh, it's kind of stealing power away from these guys a little bit. I could put a thing down here, and I probably should. Just to pass that power on, get, you get a lens. So, where's our lift? Ah, oh, there it is, it's over there. I can, I can see you, you little bastard. Okay. Luckily, I think they can only steal from power blocks, so... If we just shoot a laser over here, then it should be fine. Now hopefully this comes out on the side somewhere, on my left hand side. Excellent, looks like it does. Where's the lift? I can sort of see it over there. How far over are we? What the hell? This should not be failing this quickly. These are supposed to go for 64. Oh wait, that's negative, of course, that's negative. So yes, it is actually going for 64 and then stopping. Okay, seven here. Oh, I shouldn't have dug that wall away because now we're wide open. Okay, F3, one, do, do, do. 
I'm just going to assume they can't get in the corners. I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like it's a fair assumption to make. So, where exactly is our lift? It's right here. Right on 48. So, what we do here is... Now let's just destroy some of the ground and hopefully they can't actually reach that high. I don't know if they can or not, but hopefully they can't. We don't need this power for too much for too long, so I feel like it's fine. And then they can definitely reach this guy, so into crap. Ah! Stupid jetpack. Four, five. Okay, so you are now powered. We might have to leave this laser here actually because yeah, even after we put the rails down, it's going to have to power the actual lift, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's just how these things go, you know? So yeah, where are we? Where are we? What are we doing? All right, you need to go over here and find out how many rack rails we've got available. That's a lot of rec rails. So that's a total depth of 700, which I believe is definitely enough for this guy to do anyway. Oh, we might not have enough chests actually. We've got 600 worth of chests down here, but maybe, maybe with enough power, and I feel like there's enough power, it'll just zoom through them. I mean, previously it's just been 40 power per second that we've dumped on these guys. So with 320 coming in, it might be done really, really quickly. Done, done, done. Yeah, look at that. No, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So. One, two. Push on the glass. Actually, we probably shouldn't put the light right there. That might start blocking the laser. Okay. So you are pretty good. Okay, I think maybe that's the maximum rate that it can go at. Which is not as fast as I would like, so... Six... <laughs> Another bunch there. Okay, so you are storage empty. Wow, it's really starting to go fast. Somehow it just went boom while I wasn't watching. Okay, how much have we got? 91 left. So let's just dump those 91 in here. And then... Come on, need a little bit more. Done. Alright, that's all of my guys. So that will definitely 100% fulfill that. And let's go down and turn off those damn offline warnings, because they're already annoying me. Damn, we got no power whatsoever. Started to get hypothermia a bit there, but... It's all good. It's all good. Let's steal from the guy who has almost no power, but anyway. 17,000! Jeez, we're gonna hit the point where it's just 20k non-stop. Like, like it was when we were doing the OET charging. What do you got to offer me? Bulk cargo list. Oh, that's right, we started that. So you are gonna be there for a long, 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 long time. But that's fine. That's that's just how things are, I guess, in this in this sort of world. It's just how things are. Oh, I was looking up at the changing text at the top right, and for a second there, it looked like I was uh, in the sugar cave. But I guess not. So, go on down to the ore thing. Go away, progression. Uh, out of storage. How do I make you offline? How do I turn off your offline warning? I don't see that I can. Ah, this will suck. This is gonna suck. Give me everything you got. Give me it all. Yeah, because if this does do an offline warning and there's got no option to turn it off, Maybe that's why you get the Mark III, because it gives you an option to turn it off. 
Oh, that would just be pain. Give me my jetpack. I got a jetpack. I'm trying to keep getting stuck in the elevator. Stupid freaking elevator. Go up. Go across. Oh, shit. Oh, the elevator just saved me. Just ran out of power, fell down, and the elevator saved me. So, good on you, Mr. Elevator. Base is under attack. Yeah, I really don't care. Okay. So that's it. Uh, all those drills, no offline warnings. Very, very unhappy. But we got a whole crap load of ore. So these guys definitely get all very, very fast. Five point oh three million. Oh, look at that. My god, look at that. Can you see those rack rails all the way down? I could almost jetpack all the way up, but I'm not going to because I would run out of energy and that would be bad. So, next episode. Um, whoa. What are we doing next episode? Because I feel like this episode is done. I feel like next episode will be setting up a smelting uh, setup in um, for chromium with a proper lift going up there. I feel like that's going to be our play for next episode. Set up so the ore gets transferred properly to lift. Set up so that blah 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 has blah 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 and everything else that we need. So let's go and make sure that we are smelting all of these guys. That this guy is completely full. Uh, chromium. You can have some chromium. You can have some molybdenum. You can have some chromium. You can have molybdenum. We should really rearrange these guys so they look nicer, but uh, yeah. 40, 39. I love how it manages them separately. That's really nice. But yeah, power, probably still a problem. Yeah, I mean, desires 2,500 power per second. Oh, look at all these blocks, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks there. I did not build any of them. Let's go, let's go. Kill them all. Death and destruction to all little people. I don't know if they're actually able to steal, but we are killing them nonetheless. Look at this guy, he's not even facing me. What a dumbass. Or maybe he was like baiting me, so I'd run into him and then he could just like shoot me in the face or punch me in the face or something. Need some more of this stuff. And excellent, excellent, excellent. Now for the last two little scroungers. Definitely, they definitely can move when they want to. They definitely can move. Something just, I think I shot one of the little slimes and it started sliming me up. And that stuff actually does hurt you, so not good. Let's just do a little inspection over here. You're looking okay from what I can tell, which I can't tell much, but you're looking okay. Uh, yeah, no scroungers over there. This, ah, leg, 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 leg. No scroungers over here that I can see. I wonder if they can get right next to the cargo lift and shoot power out of there. Anyway. God, so freaking. You know what? I think I will try and reuse that lift hole above it. It shouldn't be too hard. You just get a transport pipe going up there. You build a platform on top of this guy. I'm so out of energy. And yeah, then you're good to go. Build a platform on top of it, and then you the lift can go down to there. And then we reuse the hole, which is excellent. So anyway, that is going to be all I have for you today. We're starting to get a semi-reliable source of um, molybdenum and chromium coming in from this guy. And we're going to use it to build more of these guys, and we're going to get a fully sick chromium smelting operation next episode, and a lift to go along with it. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for that.